I'm in a new spot. Always good when you get an invite, especially to a spot you've never been to before. Been disc up and uh, a little rain, not much, but just a little. Enough to wash that out. I think I might see another one when I turned the camera on. I looked across over here and I don't know that it's a twofer, but now it's chip. But down here in this one little spot, of, I don't know, I have a half a dozen brokes. I found that one, but I'll see what else I can find. Uh, uh, can't never have too many spots to look. Maybe I'll find something killer. That right there ain't bad. A yeah, real nice tip. If it had been all there, it would have been really sweet, but it's just a broken one. So uh, we're looking for something that's got a, a little big old tip. Anyway, we'll keep on looking, see what else we can find. This field's full of freaking golf balls. I bet I've got a dozen already. Let's keep looking. There's one hiding out real good. I was just over there. I don't know if you can see my footprint or not right there. There's a three foot away in the edge of this somewhat little gully. And I couldn't see it. But I got a glimpse of it coming back. Oh, yeah. I just hope it's got a tip. I don't know if it will be. Hey, something's moving out there. Look at that. That is super cool. It'd be good in a place where I've hunted forever, but it's always gratifying when you find one in a place you've never been before. There's neighbors all around. I guess they're wondering, what in the heck is that guy doing? It's a matter of time. Somebody's probably going to stop and ask me. I got permission, though. Let's keep looking. I won't take a picture, although I wish I had of now. I flipped up. I ain't looked at it all together, but I did flip it over enough to see that it looks pretty good. It be worked, I think, right there, but all in all, it's got one of them. And it's got one of them. I'll take it. Here's, uh, I consider them bonus points when you're in a new place. I mean, this, uh, I don't know if we're going to put a cover crop on this or not. I assume they are, but uh, it, could, it could be pounded after another good rain and potentially find some good stuff. And my understanding was that this, uh, this old place, I mean, it ain't, uh, they said it hadn't been turned and probably. I, I guess uh, the, the, the guy that invited me, his dad, was up uh, on up around 70. And then I reckon he said they hadn't, he hadn't seen it turned except once in his lifetime. And that was back when he was just a, just a kid. Look at this. I bet, that's, I, bet I got 15 in my, my pocket. I look like a walking chipmunk with my jaw stuffed full. And they've disked all this, uh, part of it was in tobacco, and then they've, looks like they've went around the entire field. They probably didn't have tobacco in this, but they have disked it for probably the future year to break up that sod. And now I figure this whole thing will be in tobacco another year. I won't turn around and show you every bit of it. There's neighbors behind me. But it's a good sized field. It's probably, uh, it's probably, I'd say close to, seven or eight acres, I guess. I mean, it's big, it ain't as big as some of got to hunt, but it's a good size field. It, it'd walk you pretty good. Maybe more than that. I don't know how much it is, but uh, there's some stuff out here, though. Uh, ever pass. I mean, it's a, it's a good, goodly amount of chips. Uh, and uh, I'm enjoying myself. I found three pretty decent points. I ain't been here. I ain't been here an hour. I picked up, if I've, if I've Oh, there's a live action. That's a good looking tip. That was right where I was too. I mean, it ain't been washed good enough to really clean things up. You can see that. But, so you gotta keep your eyes peeled. If there's anything light colored, you may miss it. Them, them that I have found, they're on the blue, blue scale. 
Alright, I'm going to keep looking. I'm thrilled. I ain't made but two or three steps and I've seen this. I have raised it up, but I hadn't flipped it out yet. There's what I've seen. And I raised it up just enough to see that it goes on back in there. Maybe a tool or broken something other, but it's not as complete. It's a tool though. It's probably a preform or you know, of course some of these are used as blades until they get to the place of being half to it's gonna be pretty. It's banded. What do you call it? Tyrone shirt. It's real pretty though. It'll look nice cleaned up. Alright. I'll take that and keep on looking. I was able to pull off another hunt uh, out of season. This is a uh, this is a core. I got it's got some things that's worth making note of. You could tell that they possibly got some flakes off of this thing early on. Maybe first, well, they may have just stripped the cortex off of it, and then when they tried to get them a, a flake, you see it 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 stacked up, crushed on them. So, I don't know which side they decided to go with first. It may have been this side was the first attempt, but when that didn't work and it failed, they went to the other side. And they done the same thing. And this and this and crushed and uh, ripped out better or more so than the other side did. So, I don't know which side they done first, but after two attempts, uh, they left it for me. <laughs> But that's what that was. Was a, you know, I was reducing that. It's a core. Get bladelets off of. Uh, we would call that technology today. Back then, they said we'll try this. See if it works. If it don't, we'll throw it down on the ground and get another one. That's what they did. This right here is an awesome piece right here. It's a tool, but I like I like tools. And this one's uh, it's really got the colors going on. For it. It's Tyrone shirt. It's either preform or tool. I believe it's probably a, it's probably preform on its way to being something. Uh, that's what you know. Most all points, they don't start off with notches and tips. They start off like this. You know, similarly to this, and then reduce down. That's an awesome piece, but. Uh, there's another piece of Tyrone. You see the stripes in it. That was the first find on that field as far as a complete piece. I'd found several broken ones and in fact I ended up with about I think I counted about eight or ten tips and that many bases and a couple of midsections and I kept them separated from everything that I've collected anywhere else because I don't know whether I'll find, you know, some mates to them or not. I don't know what this shirt is, but it's unique, whatever it is, odd. That's a pretty good point right there. But now, the, 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 I, I would say the field's probably seven or eight acres, but where I found everything, including the pieces and, and these things here, outside of maybe a scatter, you know, broken here or there, Everything was probably within a 30 by 30 area, 30 by 50 at the most, and uh, so it was. It was a real small camp. I think that's modern right there. I'm not real sure. Not 100% sure, but either way, you see, it was a nice little artifact. I love the material. I believe it'd probably be a Fort Payne shirt. Yeah, but anyway, this site, uh, like I mentioned, I had been told it hadn't been turned but one time in uh, 70 years or so, and uh, that was probably 60 years ago, and so that don't mean anything. That's not going to add any more to the site or take any away from it outside of the fact that had it been turned a whole lot, you know, collect collectors would have already cabbaged, you know, and this may be still the case it may have been you know a hundred years ago could have been turned up and and uh people collected off of it but anyway uh that you know if you walk the perimeter of that field and 
you would have been satisfied to have got in your vehicle and left. But I've done that oftentimes. I've walked the perimeter first on a new spot, and then I'll cut right through the middle of that thing. And even at that, I would have missed it today had I not been diligent in, in, in making a, a little closer grid. And I found that stuff in that big, you know, seven or eight acre field within a 30 by 50 spot at the most. And, uh, and outside that, like I said, I found a broken one here and, a, and I actually found that core on one end, not, in, not where I found all the broken pieces in these. But I will go back because it didn't have but maybe a, just a misting of rain. It, 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 it was enough to wash these off that I could see them and several flakes and whatnot. But it could, you know, I'm satisfied. It, 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 well, I'm good, good chance it'll show something else when I go back after a rain. But then again, it may not. Uh, uh, it's one of those things where, like the old auctioneer, I used to go to a lot of auctions and he'd say, listen, Somebody start her out. He said, hit her just right. Hit her just right. And he rolled his tongue. So today I may have hit her just right. You know, may go back next time and again and again and never find anything. They were in such a small spot. Uh, but anyway, I will go back, you know, Lord willing, and, uh, once I can get a good rain. And uh, It looks like they're going to sow some grass on it at some point. Maybe I can get some rain before then. All right, I was pleased with that. I like going somewhere and finding stuff and and uh, made it worth my while too. I mean, it gives me a place to go back. Good luck to y'all.